Hey guys, it's me, Brooke Madding, coming live from Austin, Texas. Um, today I want to share with you the day number 86 of my 90 day inner circle audio challenge. And um, today we had Tracy Walker talking to the tale of the three gents. And, um, you know, one of the stories on there was really powerful. Um, Tom spoke about um, his one of his whys growing up without knowing it. And... Um, it kind of reminded me, it got me thinking of um, a why that I can remember growing up in a middle class home, you know, um, and my, I mean, my parents love me and I love my parents, you know, and, but, um, you know, we had, I had a lot of issues growing up with um, my learning disabilities at the time, dyslexia and struggling through school and, but I remember, like, we had money, it just, I feel like we, it was always, like, um, it's, I mean, no matter what, it's a choice where you want to put your money, but it was always made an excuse, oh, we can't do this because we don't have enough money, or we don't have, so I would always hear this in my household, oh, we don't have enough money, we can't do this, however, we, I mean, we had the ability to go, to make, you know, go out on the weekends, go as a family, go out, um, do dinner and a movie or dinner and dessert or something. I mean, we were always going out as a family. Um, we were really family oriented, uh, before my parents divorced when I was, um, 17. So, you know, so I think that that, um, Tom had talked about a, a powerful thing. So I think that that really defined me um, coming out, like, just coming out of high school after I graduated, hearing, like, I just knew that if I was going to go to school, I was going to go to college, that it was going to be on me. I just took it on as my own responsibility. And because of that why, um, being, like, just never wanting to make money as excuse because you know, I didn't have much, um, you know, when I went off on my own and I was fortunate, I got to go live with family, different places. However, you know, I still didn't have that much money, even though, um, I was working, um, I was working a little bit. So, you know, but I remember always telling myself, like, that was my why that got me determined that to do more and wanted to be independent, wanted to, you know, see myself, um, successful and, um, and just doing things and not, um, I, I didn't never wanted to say like, oh, I, I can't afford it because no, I honestly, I believed in the time that it was like, you choose, um, what you want your money to go towards. And so even, at a point in time when I learned all um, some skills from um, Danny Johnson War on Jet program, um, I learned you know, okay, well I'm kind of sp I'm spending too much money on this kind of things that I can cut back on, so I would cancel those or you know so so I always tried I got in the mentality of tr you know if that's not necessary and I need that for something else you just redirect it somewhere else instead of always being like. Oh, I can't afford it, can't afford it, can't afford it, and, um, that was my why back then, and, and, you know, it just, um, it drove me to get myself here, you know, it drove me to get myself, um, all the things that I accomplished along the way, um, and now I definitely have, um, I, I believe, like, I have a bigger outlook, um, on life, because I'm, because I'm, out of that and because now I'm in a different phase of my life because being married which I'm so grateful for um that my why is huge and I have um I have so many you know I want to travel and I want to um have kids and and be able to go on vacations uh with my with my family and um you know do the things that I'm passionate about so Definitely, but I just want to share with you that that powerful message that I heard um, and helped me realize my why even before I knew it was a why um, growing up and transi transitioning and out of getting out of high school. 
what my was was about money and I was never going to make an excuse. So, um, I would highly recommend, um, you know, don't make excuses. Don't, um, don't live your life like telling yourself lies that you don't have the money because you have the money. It's just whether you chose to spend it at Starbucks or you chose to spend it on bills or you sort of spend it somewhere, it's going somewhere. It always will go somewhere unless you direct it a different place and, um, you know, and once you realize and, and get aware of where it's going and you want to redirect it, you know, you're in full control and you are the victor. So, um, with this, if you like this video, you can go ahead and YouTube, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and then, um, if you guys want to get started, um, learn what this is all about, go ahead and click the link below and we'll see you on the other side. Bye guys.